she goes for surgery. They take the camera in to, to record her surgery. And right at the end, all of a sudden, you hear one of the surgeons say, oops. <laughs> and they peel back. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's her opponent right there. She's worked her way in there. And she's got all this stuff on. And it's Liv in there working on her. Never before been done, by the way. What is going on, you guys? Rick Uccino, Dutch Mantel here with you for hey, sports. No music? No music today? No music today. No Sid today. We, 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 are, we are flying gorilla position style today, baby. We are just okay. going old school. We're going to dive. Hey, we got a lot to talk about. We, we weren't able to get to Smack Talk this week, so we're going to do a, a few of the big topics of everything that happened in the, in the why, why couldn't Rest. we get Why couldn't we get to Smack Talk? Because uh, you were sick. I was. Oh yeah, I was. I mean that that's the lie no, you told I was, us. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I ate something. I don't know what it was. It kicked my butt. I've so. been there, been there, done that. But uh, you know what? This gives us a chance to talk about the big news of the week here, Dutch. All right, we we are a SmackDown. Turn this around. Yep. Okay. I think Sid's in here messing with my headpiece. <sighs> Go ahead. The uh, the delay at our show this week gives us a chance, even though we are a SmackDown review show, to talk about the big news that happened on Monday Night Raw this week, in which fact that uh, Rhea Ripley, who was on a 380-day reign as the Women's World Heavyweight Champion, she just beat Becky Lynch in a hell of a match at WrestleMania, looked like she was going to be carrying that title well into the summer, uh, had to relinquish her championship what? due to an injury that she suffered last week. According to Sean Ross at Fightful.com, it was a freak accident. There was a backstage brawl with Liv Morgan. That seemed to be the story they were going to continue forward with here. Uh, Rhea gets thrown into a wall. She uh, injured her shoulder. Might need surgery. That's not been confirmed yet. They're going to rehab for sure, but she's going to be out uh, long enough that they felt the need to, to take the title off of her here, Dutch, which is it, you never want a title run to end that way. But when you look at the circumstances of this, with it being Liv Morgan who was involved, Liv Morgan who missed six months with a shoulder injury herself, not caused by Rhea Ripley, but one that was in kayfabe caused by Rhea Ripley, I think this has presented WWE here with a, a little bit more heat and a little bit more fuel for the fire of this rivalry moving forward whenever Rhea Ripley is able to get back. Liv Morgan comes back at the Royal Rumble. She immediately says, I'm on my revenge tour. I'm going to take everything away from Rhea Ripley. Now, this is a terrible accident that you don't want to see happen. But now, all of a sudden, one of your most over superstars in the entire country on Monday Night Raw in the entire company, I mean, on Monday Night Raw, gets hurt, she's gone, and now all the heat from the audience is on Liv Morgan. Um, like just it. overall, your reaction to Rhea's injury and, and what they could do with Liv here moving forward. Well, I think she is legitimately hurt, and I think that is the best thing to uh, have her vacate the title and have the other girls. In the meantime, they got this undercurrent with Liv and uh, Rhea going on, and... Of course, it only makes sense in a business kind of way to, to put the title on, on, on Liv. And let's see where it goes. Because I think that could be something, if they're shooting barbs back and forth, and this is where your social media comes in, they're shooting this stuff back and forth and back and forth, and uh, you don't really see them together till you get about, to Rhea's about healed up and, and about ready to go. So this is, there is an upside to this, not to Rhea, I right. think she 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 believes, but I think there is an upside to this, and I think uh, it'll play out. And will she will she be out past SummerSlam? Don't know yet. Uh, no timetable on her return. I guess it's going to depend a lot on whether or not she needs surgery or not. But I believe the hope would be, you know, she can rehab it. She can get back uh, before SummerSlam, hey, which is still several months away. And then, hey, that's if Liv is still the world heavyweight champion by that point, that's a hell of a of a rival yeah, me, I, rivalry I got match. A, yet. I got a hell of an angle for it. She goes for surgery. They take the camera in to, to record her surgery. And right at the end, all of a sudden, you hear one of the surgeons say, oops, <laughs> and they peel back. 
<laughs> and it's a uh, it's her opponent right there she's worked her way in there and she's got all this stuff on and it's Liv in there working on her never before been done by the way i don't know if the people would believe that but i kind of like it i like it i like it i don't even know if you need the oops i think it would just be funny if you saw Liv kind of slip in and like a surgical mask <laughs> so you kind of like it i do yeah i i like this idea <laughs> of 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 taking this to the you know, cranking this up to 11 you know again it's a language situation with Rhea being injured but i actually think there are storyline benefits to this that are going to make it so much better and put oh, so yeah. much heat on this rivalry when Rhea does come back which hopefully will be soon that you can you can have Rhea live excuse me taunting Rhea Ripley you can have her sending her you know flowers or, 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 or visiting or, her or haunting haunting. her showcasing her championship on her shoulder doing something with Dominic yes, you know yes. just haunting antagonizing and, her every and week taunting. you could taunt her too yes you could taunt her while you're haunting see how that just rolled off my tongue but yes, anyway brilliant I kind of like it it's got an upside to it I don't think they lose anything with this so but that almost comes up and slaps you in the face anyway. But yeah. if they'll stay with that, I think they'll be fine. One of the things it does do is, depending on how the roster shakes out, because we got the draft coming up here in a, in a little less than 10 days, um, it's going to kind of force them to to lean on some of the talent. that They have a, a bevy of talent available to them on Monday Night Raw. Uh, putting the title on Liv, you could put mm -hmm. her against Becky. Uh, you could put her against Nia Jax. But you got a lot of talented ladies that they aren't using a whole lot. They're just now starting to use Candice LeRae a little bit. They, they don't, it's going to force them to, to, to lean how on some many, other people. Okay, how many... Okay, this is years past. Yeah. You didn't have almost a quarter of your uh, talent roster held uh, are females. They, they let a lot of them go. They let Mia Yim go. They let Chelsea Green go, which I know you you thought was a, a mistake they, from the get-go they let her go yeah they let her go three years ago three years ago that, today but, i believe no, but they didn't and then she, brought her back she's yeah back. She, yeah no i think it was a mistake that girl's got she's got star written on her and I, she is entertaining she's the most entertaining uh female they have because you kind of She's kind of klutzy and you know in a, that kind of way, but and she, she's very she's very good too. Hey, yeah, did you she, see her take that drop kick in Japan in the corner? No. Oh my God! I thought her head came off. And then she replied to me later. She said, "Oh yeah, that is indeed me taking a drop kick." And I thought she, I thought her, I said her head ended up in another time zone. <laughs> But what a hell of a drop kick. I, I think Chelsea Green, from a performer standpoint, is very much uh, in the ilk of a Sami Zayn, where she can mm -hmm. just make anything work. Like, mm -hmm. she fits the WWE system. Like, it doesn't matter what you give her. She will make it a success. She will make it work. She'll make it entertaining. And, and the crowd will love can it I more. give you my idea on that? Because she's not taking it. I mean, so seriously that it loses its entertainment value. She's entertaining out of the ring, too. Even on social media, she makes it work. Yeah. And every time she puts something up, I'm going to read it because I don't know how stupid it might be, but it's my type of humor, and I really, I, I really enjoy that. So, yeah, I think it was a mistake to let her go through years, but she... It won't hurt her at all. She's back with them now, and I think yeah. doing some of her greatest work. I, I think I would earmark her as a favorite for for Money in the Bank later on this year in Toronto. Uh, Rhea's going to be out. We we talked about what that could mean for Liv, what that could mean for the other ladies on the on the roster. What might it mean for Judgment Day now? Um, they they looked like they were getting set to to take things over. You had both Rhea and Damian as world heavyweight champions that really put Judgment Day in the limelight. But now, and this is no disrespect to anybody else in the group, their most over piece, the most integral part, the leader of the Judgment Day is now out for the foreseeable future. It sounds like they're not going to keep her on television while she's away. At least that's the vibe I got watching Raw last night when she's hugging her Judgment mates goodbye. 
Uh, so this really kind of thrusts Damian Priest was into that, the forefront here. Was that kind of touching when she was hugging him goodbye? Uh, it looked like Did it, yeah. Did you get a tear in your eye? No, the performers had one, though, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, and that is that is a good call, too. Take her off TV because she'll be doing nothing. And if she's, even if they involve her in something, now I guess the fans thinking, well, she was okay to do that. How hurt is she? Yeah, I think it's a, that's another good call. And just let them see Judgment Day uh, without her, which opens another door when she gets back in there. They can say if they if they have a little trouble out of her or whatever, they say, hey, we didn't need you five months ago, four months ago. We didn't even miss you. But yeah. that is if they choose to go down that road. But I, I, I think, think they're going to go the other way. I because because another another vibe I got last night is I don't I think Rio was the glue that was holding this group together. I think yeah, they're going to go in the opposite way, but by the time Rhea Ripley comes back, there may not be a judgment day because there was definitely a moment between Priest and Balor last night where Balor's talking about, hey, we need to focus on winning the tag team titles, uh, getting the tag team titles back, and Priest was just like, no, I need you to focus on being my heavy and beating up Jey Uso before I have to face him at Backlash for the World Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. And there was kind of this moment where... Balor just looked at Priest like you, like you, you, you just think I'm your. We try to keep this show clean. I know, but Mr. there was a look that Finn Balor gave that made me think, oh, these two are going to be fighting over the world heavyweight title before Rhea gets back. Well, that's a good thought to have too, because at least, see, this is what WWE used to do. They used to make the fans think. Oh, I see it now. That's the moment it happened right there. Yeah, okay. And it gets you thinking, as long as you're thinking about them, guess what? You're not thinking about anybody else. And I think they uh, that's a good thing they did and continue to do quite well, I might add. 